Hey everyone, we continue our series. I'm popping back into the world and I've gathered a bunch of. Uh, let it load. I gathered a bunch of dirt and sand and I'm just gonna show you quickly. I also planted the sugar cane next to the tree farm, like I said I would. And I just wanna show you the result of it. So here. Now we have our sort of a tree farm and here we have several lines of sugar cane. They're freshly planted so they're at height level 1 uh, but that's going to give us as much sugar cane as we will need for books and so forth. But uh, right now let's go straight to, um, I should probably also harvest the farm but let's get going with um, Let's jump into the bed quickly to get to the morning. Oh yeah, and afterwards um, I gathered the dirt and also a bunch of sand. So now with the uh, dirt and the sand that I got, I think I have enough uh, to finish the village wall. And uh, that's what we're going to run to right now. Let's see, I have some sugar cane on me, but that's okay. I forgot to put it in the chest. There's a monster burning in the distance, a spider. I should have probably killed that spider to get the, um, whatchamacallit, not rope, but um, I forgot the name of it. The, the little string that it drops. It's useful for various recipes. So the village is on the left side of that mountain. I'm just gonna run there straight. I do hope um, that they're all okay since I haven't been there. Oh no, oh no. I should be more careful. Thankfully it was not deep. Alright, where's the mountain? I should also fill up my bucket as I see and eat some food for hunger. That's enough. Chicken, pig. Let's go to that... Uh, little piece of water and grab a bucket okay here their farms have grown I'll transplant or transport those farms after the wall is finished I hope they are iron on oh, this guys outside not good how did you get outside how in the world did he get outside? Because there is a long, long wall. Oh, that's such a pity. And this guy is outside as well? Wow. I have no idea how they... Look at uh, the length of the wall. I have no idea how they got outside. Okay, so we might have to run away again. Uh, and hope that the villagers somehow teleport inside. Let's find the edge of the wall. We built already quite a lot of it. Okay, here it is, I think. Up to here. Up to here. Right here. And the other side should be down there. There's a black cat. Alright, we have dirt already here so how shall I do it um, over here there are no houses so there's no point in going straight so I think I'll go diagonally as much as the, the terrain allows me let's see uh, the terrain is like this so let's go like that like so All right, I'll pause and continue building this uh, wall and uh, we'll resume after. All right, I'm back in the house and I um, gathered all the farms as well and we're gonna run back to the village but have a look at uh, the amount of stuff. Um, we already gathered almost one and a half stack of potatoes, a stack of carrots uh, one and a half stacks of wheat and a whole bunch of seeds. So quite a big yield from the farms already. Let's toss in. This doesn't go there. Carrots also not. 
think this was supposed to be um, only my weed stack. Okay, I'll, I'll rearrange this stuff later, but um, yeah, let's move some of the eggs. I want to make sure all the seeds are here for sure. <coughs> and over here, I don't know, I'm still gathering those poisoned potatoes, but I don't know what to do with them. Uh, wheat, wheat, okay, one more. We'll, we'll deal with the food later. Um, and let's catch that over there and we're ready to run back again so i'm gonna pause here oh actually we're gonna sleep and then run um i'll pause and run back to the village and show you the wall that i did build so far all right i'm coming up uh on the village i have finished uh, the wall so this is the the last uh, inspection sort of ah I see that tree has got to go and we need some uh, some method of getting over to the other side as well which is going to be this for now later I'll do something nicer any tree um, at or around the wall has got to go I think That villager is outside, so I'm gonna put a temporary door so that he can get back in um, at night time. I will do that over here. I don't want to, but uh, they're forcing me to. Let's do like so. For now, we can block or remove the door later. Right, those leaves hopefully will fall by themselves. Uh, let's get back on top of the wall and chop this tree down, but of course, not the bit that's in the wall. Oh, wrong tool. I just want all those leaves to, to drop because I don't know, uh, there could be a chance I suppose that uh, the monsters will spawn on top of the on top of the tree. So I have a similar situation here. And this has got to go. There, I have a block already here. So this is all part of the village protection, basically. All right, that's done. Over here, there is no wood. Let's pick that up. Now, with um, with the speed, I can jump onto the um, wall from over there, but the monsters and villagers normally shouldn't. And I've also put a sort of a sand layer above, um, both raising the height of the wall and also for uh, temporary decorative purposes. Later we can make it much nicer, but for now speed is of the essence. And while I'm on top of the wall, I'm also inspecting both sides to see if villagers have gone out, like that one guy. Oh, the leaves are not dropping, what's the problem? There must be a piece of wood stuck in there somewhere. Yep, there it is. Okay, I'm not gonna drop to pick that up. Let's continue like so. Where is that guy? Did he get back in? Oh, I have already a door there. Darn it, now I have two doors. All right. I hear his sound, but I don't see him. But hopefully he'll get back in and then we'll block those, um, we'll block those entrances. There's a villager over there. Uh, 
Anybody outside here? That tree is okay. Oh, wait. He, he has got all the way to the mountain. That's quite some distance. It's a very curious villager. Uh, Iron Golem, I think that was him, uh, is inside, so that's very good. I'm only concerned about that one villager. So we're almost done. The other side should be just here. Yeah, over there. And that should be a three high or sometimes four high wall. That should be enough. So there we have the descent wall done. Um, now I have to light up this place. wherever there are no torches and then when the dark comes uh, we can check where we have any dark areas and light those up but for now let's try to do it and that's the hard bit because there could be a small dark area and a, a little zombie villager could uh, spawn there and go around and kill everybody in the village. So we want to avoid that as much as possible. There, here I have I think enough torches. Oh, here there is one already. So let's move this one to the corner. Corner. Trees I probably will chop down even if they're inside the village. Um, I don't trust trees. <laughs> it's a weird thing to say, but yeah. I have one over there. Torches, I see. This is a large area, but I have put torches around it. Here, I don't remember putting any. There's one over there. And now we can just quickly check villagers. So this one is taking paper and giving emerald. <coughs> Cartographer. <coughs> Seven emeralds is giving an empty map. So this is a very interesting uh, villager for me. Because the sugarcane farm that we built uh, will yield a lot of paper. And we can trade for emeralds with that guy and get a map. Although the map I can make myself, but um, and how is it inside? Do you guys, I should also check the chests. I'll do that. Okay. Wow, two compasses. That's fantastic, and an empty map. So wonderful chest. I'm gonna leave the chest here, or shall I put it outside? No, let's leave it here. That was a fantastic chest. First time for me to see something like that. This water I'll keep just because it's nice. Let's see, we want to have another torch here. And I am going to wait for the dark this time because I need the darkness to see where I have I missed um, any torch placements. Melon has grown here, there's wheat. So they do have a farm inside. It's less and another one here, so yeah, it, I think they have the food that they need. But I could add to that. That's a massive lava flow from the mountain. We could go check it out in a bit. Or not in a bit, a bit later. Um, and I'm trying not to disturb these more brown um, blocks because I cannot build those. I think they are naturally generated in villages, so... The only thing I don't know how to protect against are the, the village raids uh, when the ravagers come in, because those can go over the walls, if I know right. Grass, that's, that's fun, but nothing in that chest that I need, so I'll leave it for now. 
There, it's getting darker and I can see shaded areas easier. And if a monster spawns, we'll hopefully kill it. Hear, hear the sound and kill it. I'll probably need an observation pole here to have an overview of the village during night time. Let's see, this area looks well lit. The haystacks not. I hope the villagers are inside now. Especially that guy that was exploring uh, the outside of the village near the mountain. I'm trying not to be stingy with the torches. Here it's sort of dark. Yeah, I think I want to get up on one of the roofs. I just haven't f thought of a good way of doing that. Uh, which also blocks the villagers from doing that. Oh, here it's quite dark. Okay. I think it's starting to look safe. I'm not hearing any monsters yet. Haystack. Um, yeah, let's put it on the haystack. I could take the haystack, but uh, it's pretty, so I'll make it myself. I have enough wheat. Over here, maybe one. Yeah, I'm trying to be super safe, as you can see. Even though there are torches nearby, and I, I think the torch range is seven boxes or something of the sort. The iron golem is here, so if a monster spawns, he will help. But it looks okay, so what we'll do is we'll gauge sort of the middle of the village, which could be this. And make a kind of a observation pole, maybe using these trees because it's already kind of done like so oh but I didn't want to disturb this okay okay torch also on that And on that. Okay, we're up. I don't trust the leaves. They might drop. So we'll make dirt instead. Did I hear birds? Hmm. All right, and here we have to be a little bit more careful. Let's get a torch. All right, now we can see the village from above. If a monster appears, I would see it, except these trees are blocking the view, so I probably will take them away. It looks good so far. I don't know if the Ravager can uh, jump over a three high wall. Perhaps I can make it one higher afterwards. I also had a crafting table somewhere here. Well, we'll put more, we'll put more. Because with the observation pole, um, you want to get up and down fast. So one way to do that is to, to make staircases. Oh, wow. Where did you guys come from? 
Look at this horde of zombies. I would love to know where they came from. It looks like I have to do walls, several sections of the village because if these guys sort of randomly appeared, not caring about the lights, that's quite dangerous. Thankfully, they, I, I got them near me, so they're not going after the villagers. I should also eat a little bit. Wrong block. Oh wow, there was a bit of lag. Let's chop them down. Oh darn. It looks like the jumping doesn't swipe, so perhaps I shouldn't jump. Alright, that was a lot of experience, but I'm concerned about the village rather than my experience. I should eat. And I'm surprised the iron golem didn't come down to help. Where did they come from? That is something I have no idea about. Oh, an entire horde of them. Inside the village. And this guy just standing outside. Move. Yeah, that's that's um, that's no good because if I spend the time on upgrading the villagers, and a horde like that comes, they will eat up the whole village. For sure. The iron golem seems not helpful. My only theory is that they spawned on top over there, because it's really dark on top of the tree. So that's the only theory I have for now. I'm gonna, before chopping down all the trees uh, unnecessarily, I I'll go and um, read about it online. And um, to see where that that zombie horde might have come from, because I want to put appropriate defenses, not just random. But this one is going. But there were too many. Thankfully, um, they were all in a in a pack. Otherwise, if they would spread around the village, uh, I don't think I'd have a chance of catching them before they kill the villagers. Alright, what I want to do is put a crafting table and make a whole bunch of staircases. Which, would, which will allow me to climb up here much faster. Here we don't need. Do need here, here. Ah, the torches cannot be on the staircase. Okay, they'll be on the side then. Okay, the sun is coming up, so the immediate danger is hopefully over. Torch to the side. There. The, the reason for the staircase is because it's the way faster to come up. Down is not so much of a problem, but going up can be a problem, but not with the staircases. I can make a quick way up here, and in one quick look, I can see if there are any monsters uh, around, and go and hunt them down. So let's also run over to where that guy was exploring. Let's 
talk to this one. This is a leather worker. Okay, uh, we can get the leather from our cows. And he gives a leather dyed uh, tunic, but I don't need that. So, but if we upgrade him, although that will take a lot of leather to upgrade him, so I'll need a lot more cows, perhaps. Um, yeah, let's let's look at our options. So leather, I'm not super excited about because of the quantity that would be required. Is this guy fully blocked in? That looks like he's fully blocked in. Nice. He's got an entrance from the house, raw beef and raw mutton and coal, let that be there, I don't need it. Oh, and he, he trades rabbit's meat for emeralds and he gives a ready stew for emerald, interesting. Where are my doors? Um, They were somewhere here. And who are you, sir? Oh, that's the cartographer. Leather worker again. So maybe there are uh, a couple of each. Somebody here. Let's check the chest that we saw. We can already explore inside the village houses oh nice what's that some leather don't need it right now anymore we are with iron armor cartographer let's see what else we have possible farmer house here just a bed, okay. This one. Yep, it's got two doors in such a tiny house, okay. This big house, what is that? Oh, it looks like a smith or something. Weapons smith. Three emerald for an iron axe. That's not bad. 20 emerald for an enchanted iron sword with sharpness too that's pretty good and a diamond obsidian wow this this is awesome we, <laughs> we need all that that's perfect um okay great that unlocked recipes for me that was a that was a very nice find let me go out all right i'm definitely trading with this guy once I start getting my trades up and running. There we have emeralds and buckets. I love buckets. We're gonna take, oh, I don't have space. Okay, you take the wheat and give me the bucket. I love buckets. One will leave, but I do like having two buckets. That's true. Wow, that was a great find nothing here oh, here we were already so far I'm very happy with this village the villagers are alive I'm gonna try to keep them alive I need to read if the ravager can jump over the wall because if the ravager is in the villagers are dead I cannot kill him fast enough and you are sir I kick the cartographer that's your house okay we have a bell in a nice well. Oh, there's the other crafting table. I don't uh, mind having multiple crafting tables in a village um, because they really help you out. Another bucket here and a saddle for horse. That's actually useful. Um, let's take that instead of the samplings because I did see a horse around here somewhere. Uh, uh, while I was building a wall so I know there are horses around the village and you are leather worker okay we saw him there I already climbed and there I, cl I think I, cl I got all of them 
I'm gonna just chop down this tree right here. It's not too big. Well, there was a torch on it, so let's replace that. And also the iron axe will help us. It has a much better durability than the stone axe and it should chop things down faster. So I'm, I'm happy about that uh, weaponsmith very much. Okay, now I want to get back to the crafting table. I'll probably make this observation uh, staircase uh, bigger. Um, oh, I don't have space, do I? Okay, we are going to run back to the base and put this nice stuff there. I just want to find where are those doors that I built because I want to check if I want to check if uh, that villager that was exploring if he's out already or not looks like I'm making a tour around the village but now I'm running so that's gonna be fast no it wasn't here and it must have been on this side because he was exploring next to the mountain so that's somewhere there I built the doors there there I see it okay so you see here now they're so tall I cannot jump on them anymore so let's um, let's do like that and like that Let's see if he is in or out. Because if he is already in, I can close those doors before leaving. This area I'm gonna make taller. Yeah, I don't see him outside. It could be that he died. That's also possible. It's not like I counted the villagers. Okay, in that case this door is getting blocked. And also that one. So let's jump down. I'm gonna leave the door in place, but I'm gonna block it. Like so. Torch. I don't want the villagers getting out anymore. So that should be good. Now over here we have cows. We can um, make a small cow farm near the village to get the leather. And I'm curious how far the river goes. Oh, I'm, my hunger level is down. There is a dungeon entrance here, or is just a small cave? Let's have a look. Creeper. All right, but I don't have space. Okay, that weed has got to go. He dropped two gunpowders. So it does look like a large, there's a spider up there. No, it's not so large, it's opening up to the other side. So it's not going deep. That's what I, what I, what I was checking, if it's deep or not. All right, the house should be that way. There is our observation pole pointing to the, in the direction of the house. There it is. And we can go by the river and next time I'm gonna build a boat to do this faster because halfway I can go by by the river halfway there we go I can't believe that I found a diamond and obsidian 
in that villager's chest. Those are rare finds, I think. Let's put them here. Here. Emerald also. Miscellaneous items. Saddle I'll keep on me. The gunpowder I can keep here. Compass was a good find, but uh, my spawn area is actually not where my house is. So in that sense, it's not useful to me. But later we might want to find our first house and we can use the compass to do that. I seem to have extra doors and a map. We could we could um, do the map. That's actually something interesting to do. I'll need to fill up the bucket of water. We can store the extra wood here. And the dirt we might need later. The sand I will keep. Um, and sand, sand, sand. Actually, I will put the, the sand here to have some in the base in, in case I need to make some glass. But I'll harvest more sand. Um, the staircase I will need as well for the village. The fish can come here for now. Let's take some more baked potatoes. Half of it. Oh, we, we need to harvest the bamboo, of course. It's finishing. Oh, the clay bricks. Nice. Let's put the fuel already. And more. Okay, there's not too much bamboo left here. We'll do the bricks later. Let's toss them in. I wanted to get some charcoal, so um, for that we need one of the wood stacks. I'm gonna break it into multiple bits so that it will be ready faster. Here not, and here it's cooking. Um. Okay, we'll do like this. I need the charcoal for the torches. I'm low on both. And uh, we'll need sugar to tame a horse. And then we can put a saddle on it. But I will also need a leash to keep the horse. Otherwise, sometimes they disappear. So for now, we're not going to do that until we find some slime uh, to get a leash. I'm gonna grab a new axe. And I think we are good for now. I'll chop down not to forget the pumpkins. Those make a good food source when you cook them with uh, sugar and eggs to make the pumpkin pie. And plus my farm is not that big for the pumpkins, so it's big enough, but not, not super big. The sugarcane is growing, so I know that once this sugarcane is through high, the other sugarcane is also ready, so I don't need to check up on it. Let's put the melons and the pumpkins here. And we should already have a bunch of charcoal. The bamboo is quickly finishing. There, we'll take half of that, all of that. I will make torches, 37, 53, 61, great. Um, and sticks, I have 43, that's no problem. Wood, I have, dirt, I have, arrows, I'm low on. So that's uh, something I can do also, because for, uh, for the village raids, it's probably safer to shoot. And I probably need to get another bow. Um, so actually, let's take all of that. All of that. And yeah, all of that. And there should be no, no more uh, charcoal problems. 
let's get into the bed and in the next part um, we'll make arrows and harvest the bamboo I think.